Week one of the low budget LCS for the needlessly large rods, we faced Howdy Chef this week. And being honest, coming into this, we didn't really get all that much practice, but that wasn't gonna stop us from trying our damnedest and scouting out a little bit going into game one. I think we should kind of play more team fighting death bowl, which kind of fits into everything, so it's fine. Um, what does everybody else think or want to play like? I mean, I'll take Kaisa or Krista if we get them, like, if you need me to, if you don't want David on them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care either way. Uh, and then otherwise, I mean, you know, I can play pretty much anything reasonably well yeah. with some exceptions. Like, don't yeah. put me on Zed or anything like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I 80 Assassins, I'm kind of ball sex, but that's pretty much it. I already said, like, two weeks ago that I'd prefer to play like that. Okay. Hyper team fight focus death ball yeah. just run at them engage all the time fight style. They spelled out Major League Soccer with their bands. Mm. Oh my goodness! Yeah, because better things go into rec uh, with recon support. I agree, dog. But does this guy play recon? Or is he like super scared of it? He does. It play does. He does. Up is red. And it's very strong. Period. No, I was just gonna say in general, like Warren with Warren, yeah, Warren with Ivern is pretty hardcore. If we get a strong, Ivern is uh... super bad now though with the new pet changes. Oh, true, true. Daisy is a fucking joke. So he plays Camille. So I don't know. And then I mean Camille is easier than Camille next, yeah. Camille is but... easier to play into than Darius, I think. Ooh, that's gonna be. Oh, tough. they they are just a wombo ball. Wow. What do you want to do then? Unless you want to go trip I mean, mid, and I can go Swain to be able to handle the Wombo. I could That's just take Swain mid. I could take Swain mid. I, I think Azir's still good, because it still bops out the Camille, the Diana, as they engage. Um, yeah. Uh, we getting engaged on does have to jump away. Dizzy Dave trying to keep them with a taunt. It's gonna get both a massive taunt from Wugga Bob, who can Arcadius finish him off, and E might be able to do it. He's up with the pull through. Not enough damage onto Zebra either. A heal has to come through. A lot of summoners burned in the bot lane. Yeah, Wugga Baby was going absolutely crazy. With this Diana, can be massive problem. So much burst on these guys. A nice ultimate out of Alluria. He's trying to hold onto this tower for a little bit longer. And the tower oh, shot no. is going to be enough. He gets one kill right there. Body player totally out of mana. Now the ultimate being dropped. You'll be marking to knock him up. Can they follow it up with any more damage, though? They can't. Three and one is the score, but that mid lane tower does go down. But I think it might be just a little bit late before this engage. Grand Torino just going to oh, go in, though. Can he find anything else? Here's the ultimate from Galio to keep him safe for a little bit longer. Alurius has to get out. Grand Torino now near it. Oh, my God. So much damage on the healing relate. But he ults the wrong one. He the clone. It's not enough damage out to him now. Here we go. A nice taunt right there. Diana does pick up the Drake. They're able to shred these guys down. One kill for Arcadius. Can he find another? It's a three for zero. It's a four for zero. Can they make a full blown ace right here? Oh, this is going to be a tough comeback for needlessly large rods if they're able to do it. Help me with Diana. Is Diana. Is Diana missing? Uh, yeah. Nice. Oh, cool. Uh, careful, Jace. Don't know where he is. Jace TP. We can He's kill this. Just on us here. Okay, I was instantly dead. <laughs> yeah. We stayed too long, got too greedy with the Jace. We should have just left once we killed three of them. Monsters. Really, really good macro. Been late on the rotations, but cleanly picking up. Here comes the, the fight. Orn drops the Orn horn. Can he find the knock? He finds one. He really has to flash away. A nice in from Illyrius, but so much damage following these guys. Here comes the open from Kunil. Onto Dizzy Dave. A lot of damage onto him. Can they protect him? Can they keep him safe? Dalio coming in, finding the knock up right there. I'm on you, I'm on you. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Oh, they broke the rules. <laughs> because okay. it's clear, I don't know. I think they're gonna be- They love to fight and they love to invade, is yeah. the and crux of what they're doing. From what I gather in that game, they, they're they probably gonna beat us in lanes, individually. So, just pick something that we can beat them in team fights early. I still think that is a good swing. Oh no, Kai'Sa, to us. yeah. I mean, we get blue side, so. Um. But how did we feel about the Zyre? Do we want it banned on blue side? 
the Zaya was always poking me out, like effectively maximizing the distance between the two of us with our auto spacing. She was using uh, the theory of like, you know, if I go in for a minion, like auto attack me. And like she was spacing out when the, like the health of her minions just better to me. It simple as that. She's a higher rank than me by basically a whole division on plat. She's Emerald right now. So yeah, I got gapped pretty hard in bot lane. We got gapped in other lanes as well, but it's okay. You bounce back, game two, reset, get a little bit more towards comfort and just have an idea in mind of what you want to go with and try and bring this back in the best of three. How do we feel about, I mean, Ingo? Uh, 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 Alt Stealer, what's his name? Good. Silas? Are you good, good. Silas? Good into Alistair Karthus, no? Yeah, very good. Are I mean, can? kind of shit for Jason Ophelios, but... I'm good with it. I'm done. I like it. That's a fighter. Mm. I like it. Fucking this name just dropped out of my head. She got a deep ward. So unfortunate. No ward just top side of mid. Oh, that's traffic. Okay, that's fine. Bowser gets it. It doesn't need to push. He doesn't get hit by it! Yelly really down two levels in this fight, taking a lot of damage. Yobi marked on his way to join. Can they find it for him? Can needlessly large rod survive this a little bit longer? Healy really don't get close. He gets what? hit into the wall. Takes even more damage. Yobi Mark does find the stun onto him. Looking for some more damage. Here comes an ultimate. He drops the ultimate as well. Karthus doesn't have enough to finish him off, and they do pick up the kill. It's a four to four score in the end of it all, but that was chaos there in the river. Play trying to dash in. Oh, but I think that auto speaking of dashing in, they're out. all the way in down here in the bot lane. They need Rel to come to the rescue. Can they find the stun? They can't. They can't do anything. He's down. Arcadius picks up his second kill of the game. Is he Dave getting dropped? Can they find? Oh my god, this is a little too aggressive. That might not be what they wanted. He can't find the damage. Anu, can he find the stun in tower range? He can't. Wakababu stays alive, but took a lot of damage for that. First yeah, on the teleport down here in the bot lane, though. Looks like Rel has to go in and try to keep them off of you. But he, he's alone. Nice ultimate's gonna lock all three up in a nice shockwave to follow. A massive flash from Alurius away. This dude is absolutely smurfing. Alurius is out of his mind this game. I cast your curse the shit out of that. <laughs> Can Healy really find some more damage onto Gran Torino? A lot of damage from that Jace coming in. Look how much this cart this what does. The... Picks up one. Dizzy Dave left to his own devices on the back line. Healy really taking a lot of damage now too. Can he get over the wall? He steals the All-Star ult and he stays alive from that extra bit of tankiness. Body player is going to push them off. It's going to be no dragon yet. We're going to get to the 11th minute and it's still not taken. We have to, we have to fight, we have to fight. We're trying to have to go. Nobody's here. They're, they're all there. Yeah, me and your neck are behind us. This is a we, we gotta get the... Fellas, get fellas, the... Fellas. Okay, I got okay. it out. That was the perfect engage. I'm sorry. I had three people. We're just, just behind, I guess. Um, I we had them all in. in. We had everyone there yeah. except Jace, and Jace just was like, bye. I got knocked out. I stunned <laughs> this guy because that's the closest I Yeah, can. we got three of them with my ult, so I was just chase there. existing. Yeah, I was in, it just... I couldn't get We're just way behind. Videos. Like, it was just a stat check at the end of the day. Um, I have flash if we want to try something. Oh, that's his ult. Poppy's gone, do we have an angle on... There's a jink. Uh... Gotta Enough. defend mid. Or bot. Help David. Uh, I'm back. Uh. Damn. We have no damage. Yes. I also have to remember, we have like very little playtime together, realistically. Like saying, I have a good engage as you're doing the good engage is not really good. I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about the Alistar catch, I'm talking about the Baron pit where we said we have to fight this Baron. We said go in, Chase we went bottom. in, we didn't do it. We made that we call. <laughs> yeah, like we called, I hit we three called that 10 seconds engage. before. I look behind me, everyone's dead. <laughs> like, whoa. So, yeah. We got absolutely smashed. 
hand stiffed. Pretty bad if we're being honest. Lost most lanes, just didn't have any prio. I think we were down 4k at 15 minutes and down 10k at 20. Like the wheels just fell off. Personally, in game one for bot lane, I got gapped pretty hard. I'm not gonna show it on camera here out of respect to our team and not publicizing you know, the conversations that we have afterwards, but there was a pretty serious discussion on like understanding that yes, we need to get better if we wanna be able to compete. But the issue with that is, and I made this clear to everybody when they joined the team, I'm simply too busy for that. Like this is a rec league for a reason for me. I can come in and guarantee that I'm gonna play these matches each and every time, but I can't always commit to scrimming each and every week. On top of that, I'm trying to do content, trying to work and do everything else. Like there is a certain, bar that you're hitting and at the end of the season if that ultimately is too much for us and we just don't do well in this division then hey maybe we drop down and figure out from there but for the time being you know i told healy our jungler if you want to schedule scrims go ahead if i can make it i will make it if not it just is what it is but look we're not an lcs team we're not practicing every day you just got to get better individually i can't get gapped in lane like i did this series I gotta get better than that. So it's just a matter of me getting the time to practice. But the problem is uh, I gotta move our entire apartment this week. So literally after editing this video on Monday evening, that's gonna be the last time I touch my computer. So next week, we'll see how games go. See if we can improve a little bit and I'll keep you in the loop because hopefully we don't get a, uh, hopefully we don't get checked this hard. Otherwise this series is just gonna be nothing but a moratorium for me.